Welcome on Makosi Network. Welcome to the uh, channel, everyone. Welcome to the channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of those things. But yeah, today we're going to be chatting player ratings and we're going to be chatting the log. I was watch, looking at the log today and it does not look good, um, especially for case Chiefs. We are um, basically right now, the best way I can put it is that case Chiefs right now with our record, we have about five wins. We have three draws and we have six losses. What does that mean? It means that Keza Chiefs is functioning like a team that should be in the lower half of the division, meaning a team that should be fi finishing from position 9 to 16. That is how we are performing. And I'll give you a, a little view of that. So let's jump into the player ratings. Player ratings... I'm going to give opinions of my of the players. I'm just going to give a quick update on these players and how they did. But yeah, let's kick it off. Bruce Bruma, right? I'm going to give you Bruce 6. A lot of you guys are going to be like, no, you should be giving Bruce 7. You should be giving Bruce 8. Guys, Bruce only had one real save in the game. So it's hard to judge a keeper who didn't have saves because his defense was more the ones who are rock solid. Swallows barely had a chance to get to Obuma unless Chiefs decided to make mistakes. So Obuma only had one save in the first half. And lucky for us, Umhango didn't hit it too far. So he hit it more in range with Obuma, but still it was a good save. So with that, I want to give Obuma between 6.5 to 6. But because he didn't have much to do, it's hard for me to give him like a 7 or 7.5. Because it's like that. It's like you us wanting to give a, a keeper a rating of 8 when he, the keeper did not touch the ball the whole game. That means that his defenders are the ones who should have a high rating. He hasn't been tested. And that's the Vuma. Vuma didn't get tested. But when he did get tested really once in the game, he did well. So that's why I'm saying 6 is a fair reflection for those who want to say 6.5. I'm happy for you to say that. Next one is Slanti. Slanti had a decent game. We know our left back position is Deca Deca ring. So uh, Chiefs needs to go and do the things in January to get a left back. A lot of us were thinking Omega Mdaga is going to be the next proper left back. But because Chiefs released him and the boys with Amazulu, that won't happen. So Slanti, for me, and this is me personally, Slanti did his job. He did his job, he defended, he covered, he did all of those things. Next play, so Atlanti, I'll give a, a actually, I'm going to give him a 7. Our defenders did well, I'll give him a 7. Dove, Dove Wome, I, me personally, I'm not saying you guys, I am saying me personally. For me, this is Dove's best position. When Dove is in this position, he see, he, he, our attack looks way better. Udov can find Unkosi Pilek Ngobo. He does not need Matt Nteto or let's say if Castillo is there, whoever. He doesn't need them. He can find Ngobo. Udov can even find uh, Gonzalez. Dov can even find Modi. Dov, Dove Wome, not Dove Wome, Edmondson Dove can find the pass from the center back position. But, and I've said this even last season, and, and I used to argue with fa fans when they said Dove's best position is left back. Not, no, there's a reason why Dove left Cape Town City and why U Terence Mashejo ended up over um, taking for U Dove at left back is because it wasn't Dove's best position. He can play it. There's a difference. You can play it. But there's a reason why even Benny McCarthy used to say Dove Warme is like a Sergio Ramos. So what happens if you put Sergio Ramos at right back? Sergio Ramos can play right back and he can do well at right back, but is he the best right back? No, because there are other better right backs and you can use Sergio Ramos best when he has more view of the game. And that is what Dove does. Dove gives calmness in defense. If you, had, if you watch this game properly yesterday, one thing you'll realize is that Msimango was never under pressure. There was no Tata Zella ring like we usually... He was very comfortable. And that is the what Dove gives. So Dove, I also want to give seven. Um, Simango 
also I'm going to give seven. He also did well. Yes, there are still some mistakes here and here, but they were stopping Swallows before Swallows was getting into the box. The only times when it was getting bad is when Abom Tetra and Matt and them were making some mistakes and losing the ball cheaply. Then what would happen is that Swallows would throw the ball to Mhango on the left and try to take on Frostler. And for me, that's my biggest um, issue, I feel, is Frostler. That's why when it gets to Frostler, I am going to give Frostler a 6 to 6.5. Why is Frostler the lowest one? Frostler's side of attack, I don't know why. I've been trying to evaluate this for a number of weeks. But for whatever reason, teams can teams are taking advantage of us as Kaiser Chiefs more on Frostler's side. And we are keeping quiet as fans and everyone about it. Because Frostler did well against Maseko and all these players. But when you actually look at it, our side on the right leaks goals. So me personally, I'm I'm ready for Solomons. I am ready for Solomons to get a chance at right back. I think the boy needs a chance to he needs he needs a chance to play at right back because the recovery of Frostler for me is worrying. Frostler does not recover the way I want him to recover. Yes, he can cross and all of those things, but what I what I personally believe, and I don't know if a lot of you will believe this, is that I don't think we need a crossing right back. When I say crossing, I'm like, Frosta is good at kicking the balls in the air. I don't think we need that. I think we need a Solomons. When I say Solomons, who's going to take on speed? Because imagine if you have Solomons and Saile on the same right wing. What happens is that if Saile gets clogged, Solomons can overlap and then the same kind of pace is happening on the right back. What happens when there's a lot of pace on the right side of the Chiefs um, half? What happens is that the right back of the other team can push up, meaning that it gives more space to Saile, it gives more space to our team, it gives more space to Solomon, and even our midfield, I won't know about to pick up space in the middle. So that's what I would do, but that's me. So that's why I'm saying I feel it's time for Solomon, but at the same time, I wouldn't change this current starting lineup um, because, you know, if it, if they won, you need to give them another chance to play. So I wouldn't really change it, but I am worried about the right side. Um, Tetra in the middle, Tetra I'm going to give a, a 5.5. A lot of you will be like, 5.5, wow, dag you. And I'll say this, Mtetwa loses a lot of balls. And Mtetwa has lost his comfortability that you used to see at Stellenbosch. Mtetwa will get the ball and his first touch is always a risky first touch. When we pass him in the middle, let's say a defender, our defender pass Mtetwa in the middle. And you see players rushing him at the back. Yo, I always get scared because Mtetwa's first touch is never, it never sticks by his foot when the moment he touches it he gives the ball it's like he doesn't he has a poor first touch and then those teams that are rushing him touch up behind what happens is that they almost always get the ball like they get a chance and for me that's a problem when teams feel like they can get a chance they will target that player because they'll know that that player is the one who will give us the ball so Mteta has this thing of losing the ball kicking just kicking etc and the chance Yesterday, it's not only Mteto. Uh, Castillo did it, Ngobo did it, um, Castillo, Ngobo, Mteto. We go out two against one. Mteto, it was two against one. The player was behind him. Mteto was two against one. Instead of passing Saile, who was paced for days, Saile was going to get to the pole before the defender. Mteto took a shot. But yeah, so that's why I'm saying 5.5. Ngobo, Ngobo, I'm going to give a six. He was off first half. Second half, he only came, switched on for about 15, 10 minutes. And I don't think that's enough. So 15, 10 minutes, there was a portion in the game where he started turning and running at the players. But it was late. Like, it was like, no, boy, why weren't you doing this the whole game? And then people, what even the commentator was like, it seems like no, boy, is starting to heat up. And then I'm like, what nonsense is that? Why, why is a player not heating up for minute one? Because... If you are telling me go to a player is heating up, that means if we are losing 2-0, we can only expect this player to heat up for 15 minutes in the second half when the game is late. No, I don't believe in that. 
you need to hit 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 up even before you enter the ground you must be hit you must be ready to take that game so Ngobo, i give a 5.5 to 6 i i didn't like this thing of him only switching on for 15 minutes even though he didn't do too much wrong but like he is what we need creatively and if he's off you know what happens we are off matt matt i'm going to give a seven did well defensively did well in attack yes Matt still has this negative thing, but I always say this, and I've been telling you on my coaching network that our team, you, you can't fix a team overnight. So one month is too early to really undo what others wanted, taught these guys last season, and what Molefin will continue to teach these guys. These guys have been doing the same thing over and over and over again with Zwane, uh, Molefe, and their game was very rush, rush. Now you guys want to expect Guti. Chiefs, Kevin Johnson took the team over a month ago. And in that month, there's been transfer windows. In that month, there's been tran not transfer windows, FIFA breaks. So he never always has his full squad. Castillo and them are gone. Uh, TT is gone. Um, Teto is gone. So Kevin hasn't really had chance to sit with his team day in, day out. And I also heard that during the FIFA break, the Chiefs team took a break, which I never understand. Why would they make these guys take a break when they have a new coach? But anyway, but that's what I heard, but it's useless. But yeah, so what I'm saying is this. This thing of being rush, rush, Kevin is the one who is going to take time to fix it. And that is what I'm saying with Matt. Matt is getting way, way better now at con as not rushing the ball using the ball, marking, etc. That's why I'm giving Mark a 7. He he was patient in his build-up. If it was the matchup before, he was going to shoot. He wasn't even going to pass Usaili. He was going to shoot. If it was the match of Arthur's one, he was going to get the ball. Shot. How? Now, Matt, there was Sahil. Why didn't you pass Sahil? Hey, I, I ski, I ski. Ah, you see, that's the thing. So, Kevin Johnson is working on this guy. And you can see it as bit by bit. Our players are starting to run. And uh, the person you can see it the most, and I'll say this, is uh, Sahil. But the next player rating is Modi. Modi, I'll give a 5.5 a to 6. Why do I say that? Same thing as Umtu, as Umkosin Pilem Nobo. They can't wake up late. First half, he was not there. Second half, he decided to show up in those 15, 20 minutes. And I was like, it's not enough. Yes, you are a good player. Yes, you did well. We scored with the pace being picked up, but it can't be late. You have to be play 90 minutes. And that's what I'm saying. You can't just wake up late. Next player, Saeed. Up first half, but a better second half. Um, so I'll give him... A, a seven he scored the goal and second half he was really really on top of swallows so he kept beating players he kept even the first half i have to i have to be honest he did try he did try that one pass that he put in the box it frustrates me for one reason that part that part that we we kicked it in the box the reason why it frustrated me is that it shows me that ranga is not a good enough strike why am i saying ranga is not a good enough strike that ball that was kicked in by Saile, Ranga went and stood behind the defender. And then I asked myself, why? Get in front of the defender. If Ranga got in front of the defender, tap in from Saile. But he didn't. And that you can't teach. You cannot teach a striker, striker intuition. You can't teach it, guys. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't teach it. There's just striker into Striker intuition is not going with the game. Striker intuition is the players like Haaland who will always find a pocket and they'll run, they'll sprint because they may not get the ball in that position, but they will get there because they think there's a chance. And that is what Ranga doesn't have. Ranga follows the game. He will just be jogging, following the game, jogging, jogging, jogging. Then the moment he has to react, the moment something happens, he's reacting to what's happening. He's not being proactive. He's not putting himself in those positions. And that is why I'll say this. Ranga is not a good striker for Chiefs because he's not a proactive striker. Proactive strikers that we've had is Mbesuma, always looking for pockets. Mosona looking for pockets. Those were the strikers we had in the past. Ranga follows the game too much. He, 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 Ranga is a typical striker that will do well at Chipa United, etc. But when you put him at Chiefs, they can't do it because... At Chiefs, 
there's a certain kind of quality you have to have and that quality is driven by the demand to do well. Next striker is Ranga. Ranga, I'm going to give a four. He was bad. I don't care if people say he didn't get supply. He did get supply. But when he gets supply, he's, he, he, he passes, they pass him and he's standing with a defender. Every time he gets the ball, he's standing with a defender. He can't create space for himself. And that's my thing. A striker needs to be able to create space. Hey, I know I'm taking long in this video. But next one. Um, the, um, the substitutes. Uh, Castillo, we saw him, but he didn't really have much impact, so I won't give him a rating. Uh, Mashiani, I won't give him a rating, but it was good to see him. Well done for being in the game, Mashiani. But I won't give you a rating because we didn't see much of you. Um, who else came on? Let me think. Oh, yes, U Gonzalez. Gonzalez came on. Gonzalez, I will give Gonzalez a rating. I'll give him 6 to 6.5. Why? When he was on, Chiefs looked way better in our forward movement. Gonzalez was um, part of the goal that we scored. Um, Gonzalez, that ball that he scored, he could have trapped the ball. And that's the funny thing I will say why I say Gonzalez is better than Ranga. That ball that Matt kicked and Gonzalez uh, got, uh, skipped the ball and it went to Sahel. If it was Ranga, I can tell you 100% Ranga was going to put his leg out to trap that ball. Gonzalez knew by how the ball was being passed that it's not meant for him. So he skipped the ball and you could see intuition. He's smart. He's thinking in the game. That's why I say start Gonzalez. But anyway, after that, let me just discuss the log. Chiefs is sitting number six and a lot of you are happy. Hey, Chiefs is number six. Guys, Chiefs is number six. Chiefs is on 17 points. Now, let's look at the log right now. The log right now, team number 14, eh, if you look at this, this log, team number 14 is sitting on how many points? Can you see? Team number 14 is sitting on 14 points, meaning that if Royal AM wins their game, they are going to be on the same number of points as Chiefs, and that means Chiefs is as good as a team number 14 or team number 13. Because all these teams that are above us have uh, games in hand, except for Pulukwana City, who's on the same number of points. So if all these teams above us uh, win the games, or let's say Stellenbosch draw, because they only need to draw their next game, but if all these teams get like a three points and positive results, what that will mean is that Chiefs will drop down to possibly number 13 or number 12, that is what it means. But what does that really, really mean? It means that um, currently Chiefs is functioning like a, a bottom of the table team. They are not functioning like a top of the table team. And with obvious reason, we know we had a problem with our coach doing nonsense. But that's what I had to say today. I am going to do more analysis on the Swallows game where I do some video analysis. So you take, um, stay tuned for that. But other than that, we celebrate the wins. We celebrate the good vibes. And well done to Martin Saile. That was a good goal. And well done to Vuma for his um, save. And well done to Mashiani for getting minutes, even though he didn't get enough minutes for us to really give him a fair assessment. I'm a Kosovo like, like and subscribe.